making lunch for the day. I just cut up some fruits and usually the night before I prepare lunch, just some leftovers from dinner. Hello, good morning. It is nine o'clock and I just arrived at the lab. I took a walk down to the micro lab because I have some plates to remove from the incubator and I just removed them and they don't look very good. I'm not sure if you can see but my colonies are tiny and they would usually be so much bigger than this. So now I'm going to have to figure out what to do with those colonies and I'm going to sit down at my desk and plan my day like hour by hour and then I will crack on with my experiments. Good morning! It is 9 30 almost i have all of the stuff that i want to do here today is wednesday the 7th we'll see how much of this i could actually finish but the first thing on the list is to go down and check on my mice so i am in the middle of animal experiments right now and we are just monitoring the tumor volume every single day let's go podcast, measure the tumor volumes and the body weight, and I'll check back in with you when I'm done. Hello, so it's now 10.30 and my original plan was to sit down and plan my day. However, because of the drama with my bacterial cultures, I ended up replating some of the cultures, putting them back in the incubator um, and doing a few tests to see what's kind of gone wrong with them. So yeah, my original plan for the day has kind of been flipped upside down but this is the nature of science sometimes things don't really go your way and you need to re-jiggle your plans so now i'm going to sit down and i'm going to plan my work drink my green tea have a breather finally and then we'll take it from there hello it is 11 a.m. I am done with my tumor measurements. I'm gonna go plot them now at 12 actually. Okay. Hi! Hello, hello Pohan. <laughs> <laughs> let's see what everyone, let's see. Oh, hi. Hello, Lucas. How are you? Why are you looking for another lab coat? Hi, no, Jude. <laughs> Jamin looks stressed. Hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Yay, Jamin gets a new lab coat. Yeah. In the meantime, mine is a piece of sh Hello, it's now 12.30 p.m. I spent a long time planning how to prepare my samples for this afternoon. I don't know if I'm going to be able to prepare them because I'm waiting for a colleague to get back to me about uh, some fine details about the preparation process. So we'll see if I can get that done today, but hopefully I can. You might have seen just now, I was just preparing some other samples for something else just now. And yeah, now I think it's time for lunch or a break at least because I feel like I've just been non-stop all morning so I think it's time time for a break and some food. Typically I have a small break in the morning just so I can eat something. Today I was supposed to have my granola and strawberries but I forgot a spoon so I just had a cereal bar instead so this will be my first proper meal of the day when I sit down to have my lunch so I'm very very hungry. So this is usually our lunch room where we are allowed to sit and have our lunch but all of a sudden there's these signs up outside the door saying that we're not allowed to eat in here anymore because of covid so i think i'm going to need to go outside and eat i'm just gonna grab my sandwich that's my porridge from earlier that i couldn't eat and i guess let's head outside
I feel like I might drop this, it's so hot. Okay. So this is where we usually have lunch. Most of my lab mates are here. Uh, I think everyone knows Jamin. I think everyone knows my lab mates by now. Jamin, Pohan, and No Jude. And this is Juliana from Hedridge Lab. We are finally back at maximum capacity. All of the grad students can come and have lunch. Today we brought our laptops because there's a statistics workshop at noon. <laughs> How many PhDs does it take? <laughs> Hello, it is two o'clock. I'm back from lunch now. I gave myself an hour to just relax and to not do anything. But I sat outside, as you'll have seen, and it started raining, so I had to run back inside again. Yeah, so now it's two o'clock, and I'm going to check on my bacterial culture that I had put to incubate this morning. So I wasn't expecting it to have fully grown, but I can see a little bit of cloudiness there, so, so far, so good. Hello, it is 3.30 now, and I finally finished analyzing all of my data for the mice stuff. So I'm going to go grab my compound and weigh that stuff out along with all of the buffers to nanoprecipitate and make my nanoparticles. So I just have to prepare some nanoparticles for an upcoming cell experiment. Here it is, and I'm gonna let it reach room temperature before measuring things out. All my particles look good, so I'm just going to combine all of them now and put them for dialysis. I cut too much. <laughs> I've just been preparing some samples for tomorrow and I'm also going to label some tubes just so everything's ready to go tomorrow morning and then prepare some overnight cultures and then I am finished! Uh, it's currently quarter past three, so this is going to take me about an hour and a bit. And then I'm going to the gym for five o'clock to play squash. I'm going to sign off now. It is the end of the day. All my experiments are done. I did not finish everything that I set out to do, but that's okay. We'll just do them tomorrow. It is 5.30ish and I'm gonna wrap up my day here. Hello, editing and here. I just wanted to hop on to wrap up this video properly. I realized I didn't do that on the day that I filmed. So I just wanted to thank you, Jessica, for collabing with me. This was just so much fun to meet you over Zoom and to collab on this very first on my very first collaboration on this really cool idea and I just wanted to let everyone know that we also did a video for her channel so you can find her channel it's called my PhD and me I will obviously link
link it down below. For her video, we did just a very informal sit down chat comparing the differences of doing a PhD in Scotland versus in Canada. So I'm very excited to see that as well. And I hope you found this video interesting. This is something that I've never done before and I was really happy and really excited to do this kind of thing. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you saw any like crazy differences between a PhD student in Scotland studying chemistry versus a PhD student in Canada studying nanomedicine. With that, I will end the video here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye!